Hi guys, today we'll show you how to replace windshield wipers in 2020 Volvo XC40. As you, as you can see, we can't just leave them up. The hood is in the way. So in order to make it happen, we'll have to put wipers into service position. This is the service position and right now we'll show you how to do it. To activate the service mode, you have to make sure that the vehicle is stationary, it's in park and uh, you need to make sure that the windshield wipers are currently off. The next step will be to swipe from left to right and you'll see the wiper service uh, button. When you press this button, the wipers will move into this position and the next step is very important as well you have to turn off the vehicle before you replace the wipers to remove the wiper first you have to lift the blade and uh, now you have to tilt the upper portion like this and press this small button then you can remove the wiper now be very careful because if you lower metal section on the windshield, you will damage the windshield. That's why you need to use the rag. When you put the new wiper in, you have to follow the same procedure. You have to tilt the upper portion of the wiper and slide it in. The replacement is done. The procedure is exactly the same for the passenger side. Lift up the wiper, tilt it and press the small button. Don't forget to use the rag. The reason why we told you to turn off the vehicle is because, uh, for example, if you accidentally turn on the wipers or the washers or the rain sensor starts working or if the vehicle starts driving, uh, the windshield wipers will automatically go out of the service position and if you have them in this uh, state or even without the blades, they will basically they will scratch the hood and they can drop onto the glass and damage the glass that's why this is so important when you're done replacing the blades you simply have to press the same uh, wiper service position button and they will go back to its original position to replace the rear wiper blade you simply have to first lift up the whole thing and then you just need to pull off the blade itself it's very simple it's just been held by a small clip and when you replace it you simply put it back on 